852. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I just am bursting at the seams with just epiphany, joy, light, sadness, happiness, frustration, positivity, all of it. But it's a good thing. Okay, let me tell you what happened. So I'm always focusing on my goals, talking about what I'm trying to do, putting this content out, you know, working on myself, working on my weight, blah, 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 right? Working on my business. And um, with that said, I watch a lot of motivational videos and I read books. And I'm surrounded by amazing people and have a great family, right? same time even if you're surrounded by great people you have to realize that you're responsible for your life and you have to figure out what role you play in your life and I'm talking to a specific set of people so this video is not going to be for everybody if you are the person in your circle that just makes the stuff happen uh, you get stuff done you know and I've got a lot of people in my, in my circle that get stuff done but I'm talking about like you know you're the leader you're the you're the big time dreamer. You're the one that you want to go conquer the world and make things happen. And people around you, um, even though they might be encouraging, they just don't see how you're going to get there. And sometimes you don't even see how you're going to get there. But you're like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make these moves. If that's you, and you've been pushing, 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 and there comes a day sometimes when you get tired or when things aren't exactly the way you want them to be. And you don't even realize you're tired, but you start having thoughts like this. This just happened to me this morning, right? This, this literally just happened. And this is why it's important what you put in your brain. And it's important that you have, I guess, protection around you. Meaning the content that you consume and the books you read and the people you associate with. So anyway... Things are hard as far as, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on the business, I'm pushing forward, I'm focusing on my weight, I'm working on my goals, but I get tired sometimes of the, of the grind of it. So on my way to one of my customers' houses today, I said, uh, I was driving, you know, and I actually had good sleep, but I just was that whole, oh God, I'm dealing with stuff type mentality was happening for me so I started having these thoughts and, and let me know if you've ever had these thoughts I start going you know I have a good life I have a beautiful family and uh, I've overcome so much I really don't need to do all that stuff I, I just need to focus on what I got make sure I take care of what's around me and be thankful and um, just just take my foot off the gas and just kind of you know stop just stop it Donnie just you, your brain is pinging all over the place you want to do all these things do you really need do you need all that stuff do you I mean you're 52 years old there's people that are in their 20s that have a private jet. There's people in their 30s. There's teenagers. That, what makes you think? I mean, it's really not even. I mean, I know you could do it if you really want to. If that's how you want to fly and get to places. You, but do you really have to? You know, a lot of times when you fly, you can afford a first class ticket. That's good enough. You know, and, and you make good money. And, uh, you know, you're paying your bills off and think you're. You've already paid off a lot of debt. You're getting there. Stop. Just stop trying so hard. Relax. You've got this. You've got enough. You know, and, and you, your weight's coming off. But I know it's not coming off as fast, but you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to eat kale every day. You know, just, you like bread. Just, I mean, you ate a tortilla the other day and it didn't kill you. You ain't got to be this extreme, and you don't have to do this in this dream. Just stop, take a breather, and enjoy your life. So that's the crap 
that was running around in my head. But here's the scary part. And that's why I say this video ain't for everybody. The scary part is when I started thinking that stuff, there's a part of my brain and even a part of my body that went, yeah, you're right. I'm good. I made good money. Let me just continue to get my bills paid and all that creating a show that's going to be known worldwide, you know, 10x in my tree service and hiring more people. Do I, I don't really need to do all of that. I'm not really, I don't know how to do all that kind of stuff. And, you know, why do I need to charter a private jet for some reason? traveling with my family? I mean, who really needs to do that? Okay, J-Lo does it, but, you know, she's in a career that pays her extremely well. Her and Alex are Rodriguez, they're in a different field. They were pro athletes. They've dated, dedicated 20, 30 years of their life to building their life. You're 52. You're never going to be. You really want to push that hard for the next 20, 30 years of your life. Just enjoy it. You got great kids. Just enjoy it. Do you know those thoughts felt good? I felt like I could, I could breathe. I'm okay. And you know what? That's bullshit because I do have big dreams and I do want those dreams to come true. Now, if they come true or not, whatever, but I'm going to pursue them. And in my mind, they are going to come true. And in my mind, I am going to travel that way. I am going to live the life that I want. Even though I live a great life right now, I'm going to do those things. But the reason why I say it's very important what you listen to and what you put in your brain is because I'm so used to having my videos on and having my content on when I'm driving that out of habit... I pop, I just pop one, I just open up YouTube, pop one of my, you know, one of the people I listen to on, and just so happens I was scrolling through, pop David Goggins in. Now, y'all know David Goggins is a beast. And guess what he's talking about? He's talking about your brain. He's talking about how your brain likes to be, likes to make you feel comfortable. It doesn't, it doesn't like to change. And it will talk you out of your dreams. And that you've got to be the one to control your brain. You've got the one to be able to speak to your subconscious mind. You've got to be the one to tell your, your mind, your body, your spirit what to do so that you can continue to pursue whatever um, goals you have. Because if you leave it up to your body, if you're not in shape and you leave it up to your body, guess what? Your body don't want to get in shape. It should, but it don't. If you leave it up to your brain, your brain, and you're trying to, you know, learn how to think differently to attract what you want and to build wealth and to overcome years of dysfunction and toxicity that you grew up in as a kid. And even though you're in your 50s, you still have some of that stuff left over. Your brain goes, oh, God, you've changed enough, Donnie. This is a lot of work. You're good. You're good. You're in a great marriage. You ain't, you're not in anything abusive. Just let it go. Oh, all this success stuff is great. Just imagine success is being happy and you're happy and that's enough. That's your brain not wanting to change. That's your brain not wanting to do the work and to change those 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 little wirings, change those little grooves. You're, you're getting out of the groove of living where you're at and you're trying to get into another groove to attract what you want and that takes work. And your brain doesn't necessarily always want to do that. Sometimes it does, you know, and sometimes it doesn't, but a lot of times... It's, let's just go back to, to, to let's just chill. So, watch what you put in your brain. Your brain is the most powerful thing on the planet, and it is a thing that will affect your life more than anything else, is your thoughts and your habits, your thoughts. Be careful what you're thinking about. And if you find yourself thinking about stuff that is not aligned with what you say your goals are, change it change it and change it immediately so yeah this video ain't for everybody but it is for the people with big goals and big dreams or little goals and little dreams that want those dreams to come true all right be blessed